I'm Melissa Nakavli at the International Center in Mississauga, where 2,500 Liberal supporters are here for the Liberal Convention this weekend. They'll be tasked with helping to rebuild their party and elect a new leader. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Ontario Liberal Leadership Convention. So it's really exciting as you know, the whole family is getting together and we're going to elect a new leader. Six candidates all hoping to be the Liberal savior and bring the Ontario Liberal Party back to life after a devastating loss to Premier Doug Ford and his Conservatives in 2018. This weekend isn't just about choosing someone who will lead us into the next election. It's about demonstrating our party is ready to lead positive change for Ontario families that the, the positive change that the Ontario families are still looking for. Vying for the spot, former Cabinet Minister Stephen Del Duca, who has heavy support behind him at 43% of the committed delegates. The other contenders for the Liberal leadership include Don Valley East MPP Michael Coteau and Scarborough Gilwood MPP Mitzi Hunter. We have to hit the ground running starting on Monday. We'll only have 26 months until the next election campaign, and the stakes are very, very high. Public education, public health care, the climate crisis, and so much more. We have to take on and defeat Doug Ford and get Ontario back on track. I don't care who they pick. They destroyed our province. Premier Doug Ford taking a jab when asked about the convention earlier today. They put us $346 billion in debt, largest debt in the entire world, sub-sovereign debt. They, they left us with a $15 billion deficit, destroyed education, destroyed uh, the health care system. Um, we're, we're fixing it. Uh, we lost 300,000 manufacturing jobs under the Liberals. A message for Doug Ford. Your priorities are out of whack with Ontarians' priorities. Just take the license plate. It's symbolic of his term in government. Misplaced priority, bad decision, hastily imp implemented, lousy result. The event then closing off with a tribute to former Premier Kathleen Wynne before the big reveal tomorrow. The Liberals do not have official party status in the legislature sitting in third place behind the NDP and the Conservatives. Melissa Nakavali, City News.